In this video I want to demonstrate how to create bundles from words which are contained in the collections dictionary. Uh, the collection dictionary contains only those words that occur in uh, any of the documents in the system, not all the words in the English language. Okay, so we've got the test data loaded, which is um, almost 9,000 documents. Uh, to start searching the dictionary, we need to click the bundles window, go across to the words tab, and the words tab is essentially divided into two parts. One is the, the top part is finding words within the dictionary and the lower part is the keyword extraction function which will determine which words make a particular bundle unique. Um, okay, to demonstrate um, finding words what I will do is uh, quickly just do a search for Smith using the star operator which will match anything. So this will find anything Smith anything. And so here's a, a list of all the various words that have been found in the dictionary. And so you can select which ones you want to make bundles of. Just go through the system and uh, through the list here and select the ones that take your fancy. Uh, and I'm just picking ones that sound like actual people's names as opposed to user IDs uh, and then when that's done you can elect to create a folder and I'm going to create a folder called name Smith and that will now create a folder and inside that folder there will be one bundle for each of the words that I selected and, and here are all the bundles here and here is the folder and I'll make that folder public just for good luck. Now we have a more uh, advanced function called regular expression matching and regular expression matching allows for um, tightly defining um, uh, text uh, a text template which will then be matched against the dictionary. Uh, it's a bit beyond the scope of what I'm trying to do here to explain precisely how regular expressions work and uh, you might like to look that up on uh, Google and um, find a good page that describes that. So here is the same, uh, we're just looking for Smith from the beginning of the line, so the hat means beginning of the word. Uh, then I want the letters Smith followed by anything. Um, to make it identical to the previous search I'll start at the beginning of the line any character, any number of the preceding character which is any character and run that guy and that gives me pretty much exactly what we had before. So if I remove that and just look for Smith at the beginning of the line again I can then take out the letter I and substitute any letter uh, followed by TH followed by anything. And so here we, we pick up uh, Mr. Smythe uh, and I can then go any number of the any of any letter. So I'll have the beginning of the line, the letters SM, any letter, any number of letters followed by TH, followed by any letter and any number of those and then the end of the line. And that produces this list here. So we have these characters in the middle. Um, and, and that sort of illustrates regular expression matching, which is, as I said, it's a bit beyond the scope of what we're trying to demonstrate here. Um, okay. That concludes the demonstration on how to find words within the dictionary. Thank you for watching.